What's up, YouTube? Man, it's good to be back. Here we go, I'm going up to the Adirondack Mountains. I brought my wonderful REI tent right here, the Camp Dome 2 tent. Let's do it, let's get right into it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, also have to get up early tomorrow to help my dad move some boxes. So, uh, and I've gotta, if you guys know my dad, know that if you're not five minutes early, uh, it, it's not gonna be good. So I definitely have to make sure where I'm setting up camp is about two hours away. So I've gotta be at my dad's before eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, today is Friday. So yeah, it's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a early morning tomorrow morning. But again, if you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing many more. I appreciate you stopping by and watching. So I just saw a brewery on the way out. Um, never been to this place, so I'm gonna check it out real quick. Maybe get a growler. So I just ordered the Black River Brown Owl and a growler. So. That's pretty cool. Went with the 32 ouncer. Not bad, we'll see. She is just made it before dark. Tent is set up. Still got, you know, it's not completely pitch black uh, yet. So I'm gonna cook some food. And listening to the wind, you guys hear that? Oh! All right, we're getting ready to cook. Let's take a wider scope of this. Actually having some gumbo tonight. I have to turn this flame up a bit. It's kind of windy out, so I'm trying to position myself so the wind doesn't hit the flame as much. And there's a Copper City Brewing Company shout out. Open this thing. Oh, look at that convenient spot for my 32 ounce growler. Look at that. And if it was a bottle, well, folks, the Mavericks got you covered. Hear that wind? This is starting to look like it's almost ready. Now, I'm not a cooking connoisseur. I'm not a chef. I do know how to marinate some good chicken. But this gumbo is looking pretty tasty right about now. Give it another five minutes. And you thought I was kidding. There goes my tent. Note to self, bring steaks next time. Alrighty, there we go. Oh, can't do it with the camera in my face, so uh, enjoy the beer. The gumbo is almost done. Let me show you. Oh yeah, see that? That's almost done. And even if it's not, to be honest with you, I'm so hungry, I'm ready to dive in and eat this thing. Alrighty. And by the way, leave a comment if you have any good recipes. As you can see here, when the wind's not blowing the tent, you put it back, right? It kind of hangs off the tailgate a little bit because we all know the Maverick doesn't have the longest bed. As you can see behind me, we have some snow plowed snow so i'm going to back my truck up okay so as you can see the tent did hang off i've got it over there for the moment uh the it did hang off the tailgate so i'm going to try to get the tailgate as close to the snow bank here as possible all right as you can see i think this idea actually has a shot at working okay yeah i just wanted to show you guys this all right see it there we go the muffler is not um, clogged up by the snow. I just wanted to make that clear. So let's give this a shot. You see that moon? Oh man, the clouds, it is a little cloudy, but it's so refreshing out here. Just the fresh air, the wind really is. 
All right, folks, here it is. Hopefully you can, I'm gonna try to get as many angles as possible. So you can see back here, and I've gotta get, you know, I have to get a some sort of bed liner, a cheap, affordable bed liner, and a bed cover, maybe a cab one day, but for now, this'll do. Check this out. My plan kind of works. See how it's overhanging a little bit? Here, I'll walk around. See this side, and you've got some room back here, right? So pull this up. Again, this is a camp dome, two tent. You can fit two people. I'm five foot six, so um, with the tailgate down, obviously anybody who's taller than five six, your feet might hang out. So for some of my taller friends, it'll be interesting when I go camping with them uh, to see, you know, <laughs> how much their feet hang off the tailgate. But for me. I can sleep, and I'll show you once I get in there. I could sleep diagonally. Actually, I can sleep diagonally with the tailgate closed, but I'm not gonna show you that with the tent hanging out here. So you can see I kind of staked it in this snow bank. Now you can see the inside's pretty uh, spacious right now. Again, this is good for two people, but I'll show you what it looks like after I put in the pads and the sleeping bag. All right, so as you can see, I made my bed here in uh, the tent back of the Maverick bed. You know, some people call me an organized individual. I would have to disagree with them because as you can see, um, my sleeping quarters are not uh, <laughs> organized yet. There she is. Here's what we're working with. Got a couple pads right here. So we got this nice foam pad. And we've got another pad right above it, right on top of it. Got a couple of hats here. Got Wegman's hat, which is really, really warm. Wow, you hear that? You could say it's windy. All right, so there's my feet. The tailgate, I can feel it right under my feet is literally the drop off. It's like right there at the edge of the tent. So not too much, my feet are not hanging out too much. But again, remember I'm five foot six. And here comes the rain. All right guys, here's my dad's ridge line. Under ridge line. Oh, that's the U-Haul. Here's my Maverick. What do you like better? Uh, it's just about 10 of 10 in the morning. Uh, my uncle and my dad and I just finished uh, loading up some boxes into the U-Haul. And you might be wondering why the video uh, of me in the tent when it was raining ended like that. Great question. Interesting story, nothing crazy. I didn't see a bear or, you know, get chased by wolves or anything like that. However, I did see a deer, that was cool. But I see deer in my own backyard. Anyways, long story short, I won't bore you. I underprepared for the rain and the wind. The tent started to uh, get drenched a little bit. One side, it started happening. I go, all right, I'll just use an extra blanket to soak it up. Again, long story short, my pillow got soaked, everything got soaked, including my jeans. And guys, I pulled a rookie move. I left my boots outside on the tailgate in the rain when I knew it was going to rain. Doesn't matter if I thought it was going to lightly rain or whatever the weather forecast said, it rained a lot and you should never leave your boots outside regardless. So. I pulled a rookie move, that happened. The boots got soaked, my jeans got soaked, my notepad, journal, everything. So I ended up uh, leaving a little bit early, earlier this morning, um, because remember, I was gonna wake up, do the whole coffee thing, make some coffee, chill for a bit. I was even gonna try to get a quick run in. I don't know why I, you know, where I came up with that idea. There was no way I was gonna have time, but whatever. Yeah, so I uh, ended up jumping out of the 
uh, end, you know, the, the, the side there of the tent into the snow barefoot because my boots were wet. And I was like, you know what? F it at that point, excuse my French. And I, <laughs> again, not to get too graphic, but I just had my boxers on and my sweatshirt and Wegman's hat because I didn't have dry boots and my jeans were soaked. So luckily I did prepare. I brought some extra sweats and my trail running shoes. I, I loaded up the tent, threw it in the back seat here. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was definitely an interesting experience. Uh, partially, no, not partially, actually mainly due to lack of, uh, planning by my part. This is actually my first time truck camping. So if anyone who is watching this channel right now, watching this video, uh, if you have any tips about camping, truck camping in, in particular, please leave them in the comments. Any recipes that you would recommend cooking while truck camping, please leave them in the comments because clearly I am still a rookie at this. Last night was the first time I went truck camping. So needless to say, even though it wasn't the experience I was hoping for, I still still took a lot of positives out of it, right? Better prepare, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's all I got. Uh, I feel great because I, I literally feel like I just got to work out moving boxes with my uncle and my dad. And yeah, now I'm just going to make more coffee and uh, edit this video and, you know, get it out to you guys. All right. Take care. Thanks for watching.